In the world of gaming, cost isn't always the biggest thing to consider, but the truth is, if you're looking at getting a gaming laptop, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get a really good experience. Right now, in 2019, there are actually a ton of machines that offer really good performance and that'll get you through most of your favourite games, and that cost less than $800. In this video, I'm going to be going over my top 5 choices for the best affordable gaming laptops you can get in 2019, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at 5th place in this video is the Asus FX504, which is a really Really affordable gaming laptop that you can get for as low as like $700 on Amazon for an i5 version with a GTX 1050 graphics card. If you want to spend a little more money, you can also get a Core i7-8750H version with the GTX 1050 Ti, but either way you're getting a really good experience with a red and black finish, a 15.6 inch Full HD display, 8th generation Intel Core processors, and 256GB of solid state storage. You're also getting 8GB of RAM, so it should be able to handle most games pretty well. Two things you should know about this machine before getting it though are first, it does come with a fair bit of bloatware, so what I'd actually recommend right after you get this machine is completely reinstalling Windows, it'll help this machine to run a whole lot more smoothly, and honestly it'll just give you the ability to take full advantage of its processing power. And then number two, you'll be able to play most games that you want to on this machine, but just have realistic expectations. You're not going to be able to run games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Battlefield 5 at their most demanding settings because this is a sub $800 laptop, and while we'll be able to run these games at lower settings, you're not going to be getting the same experience as you would on a high-end gaming PC. Moving right along though, coming in at 4th place in this video is the MSI GB62, which you can get for $800 on Amazon, and at that price point you're getting a GTX 1050 Ti 4G graphics card, an i5-8300H processor, and then either 256GB of solid state storage, or a 1TB 5400RPM hard drive with 16GB of Intel Optane memory on top of that. A couple of my favourite things about this laptop is that it actually doesn't come with a whole lot of bloatware unlike the last option, and you get a whole lot of power from the easy overclocking of the CPU. The MSI Dragon Center is really good for clocking your CPU speed to exactly what you need it at, so you can go from gaming to just doing casual things on your computer with a quick click of a button. Another thing which is actually really nice about this laptop is it's just not as bulky as some gaming laptops are. It comes in at 1.2 inches thick, and it's 4.8 pounds, so yes, it's not a really light laptop, but when you're talking about gaming laptops, that's very, very reasonable. Honestly, the only two slightly annoying things about this laptop are first, if you opt for the HDD version, it actually splits that into two partitions that are about the same size, so you have to switch back and forth between them, and the other thing is, this laptop definitely takes a huge performance hit when it's not plugged in. That's normal for gaming laptops, but with this laptop, it's especially pronounced. Coming in at third place is the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop, which offers a 15.6 inch Full HD display, Intel's 8th generation Core i5 processor, Nvidia's GTX 1050 Ti graphics processor with 4GB of dedicated memory, 16GB of RAM, and then a 1TB hard disk drive. Now I don't want to give you the impression that this machine is like an MLG or ROG caliber machine because it's not, but with that said you will be able to play games like PUBG, GTA 5, Overwatch and CSGO if you do dial down the settings at reasonable frame rates. A couple of things you should know about this laptop though are that it has very loud fans when you're taking full advantage of this machine's processing power, the trackpad is a little flimsy, the keyboard is fine but you're not going to want to use the trackpad for long periods of time, and the battery life really isn't the best, you're probably going to get maybe like an hour to two hours of full processing power usage out of this machine on a single charge. Coming in at number 2 in this video is the Lenovo Legion Y530, which is pretty comparable specs to the other laptops in this list, but it does have some things that help it stand out. You're getting a Core i5-8300H processor running at 2.3GHz, 8GB of RAM, Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1050 graphics chip, a 256GB solid state drive on top of a regular 1TB traditional hard drive, and then a 1920x1080 15.6 inch screen. You're actually getting a really solid collection of ports with this laptop, a USB-C port, two standard USB ports, ports, a full-size Ethernet, and then actually two graphics output options, a full-size HDMI jack, and a mini DisplayPort connector. One thing this laptop does really well is taking advantage of the specs it does have. It's got revamped thermal optimization, which keeps the fan reasonably quiet even when you're doing heavy duty gaming, you're getting really good speakers, Harman Kardon speakers that really make your games come alive, and a really complete keyboard with a full size row of function keys. The only major downsides about this machine are with regards to design, the webcam is located underneath the screen which is the effect of making video chats look pretty ugly, and then the center of gravity is way at the back of the machine so it pre feels pretty lopsided when you're using it in your lap. 
With that said though, coming in at first place is the laptop that honestly inspired me to make this video. It's the Acer Nitro 5, which is proof that you can definitely get a gaming laptop under $800 with discrete graphics that's powerful enough to handle any game you're going to throw at it. The Nitro 5 can be had at insanely low prices, as low as like $600 on some sites, with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti graphics that are strong enough to play basically any current game in a medium to high detail settings at the laptop's full 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. The 15 point 6 inch laptop came out a little bit more than a year ago, but Acer has been keeping it fresh with new processors from Intel and AMD. You can find configurations with Intel 7th generation processors inside, but you can also find it with 8th generation Intel Core i5 8300H or AMD FX 9830P processors starting at $750 in the US. The Nitro 5 isn't particularly overstated, there are no big emblems or multicolor LEDs, but it actually does look like a gaming laptop. You're getting stylized cooling vents and a red glowing keyboard, so people might not even be able to tell this is a sub $800 laptop. What's nice about this laptop is it's also more than just good raw specs. You're getting very decent speakers which deliver really good bass, a passable trackpad which you'll be able to use when you're not gaming on this machine, and a really decent port collection that includes a USB 3.1 Type-C port, two USB 2.0 Type-A's, one USB 3.0 Type-A, an SD card slot, and an HDMI out. Since this laptop is so cheap, I would definitely recommend upgrading to the NVIDIA 1050 Ti graphics card if you can, that'll give you a whole lot better performance for gaming. And the other thing you should know about this laptop is that the battery life isn't great, you'll maybe get like 4-5 to five hours of video drainage usage or about 1-2 to two hours of gaming performance on this machine, which again is par for the course for these kinds of laptops, but it just means you won't be able to go too far from a charger. With that said though, that's my top 5 laptops under $800 list. Let me know what you think of these machines if you tried them before. Let me know if you know of any other really good laptops under $800 which are passable for gaming in the comment section down below. And with that said, I will see you next time.